Hey guys, welcome back to the Bimbi Doo channel. Thanks for tuning in today. We're working on the Mini Cooper again, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video we're going to be working with Plastidip guys. You guys know it's probably one of my most favorite things to modify with, mainly because it's not permanent and the possibilities are endless. Today's video is no exception. You guys have probably noticed in a lot of my videos that the lower part of my side skirt are actually paint matched to the car. Well, you probably guessed it since I love Plastidip so much. That's plastic dip as well. So I did this in my car in the first month of me owning it and it held up really well. And actually, I didn't really expect it to. Uh, it was more of a trial and error type thing and I liked it so I kept it. So I didn't do much prepping uh, or anything to just to make sure that it stayed on there. So naturally on the passenger side, it began to lift up. So I want to show you guys how I attacked it, how I took care of it, and hopefully I inspired one of you guys to try it for yourselves. So the plastic dip for this job that you'll need will be black plastic dip, uh, Glossifier plastic dip, and the also important, the aluminum, bright aluminum metalizer. I will leave uh, some links down in the description down below if you guys wanna pick these out. Again, I've only tested this with the pure silver variant of the Mini Cooper paint. That's uh, paint code 900. It matches pretty well or well enough at, uh, at first glance to where um, you can get an idea if you like something before you actually uh, bite the bullet and paint it. So we're gonna start off with the black plastic dip, do a couple of layers, maybe three. Then we're gonna hit it with uh, two maybe three good layers of the metalizer, and then we're gonna finish it off with one to two coats of the Glossifier. The Glossifier really doesn't glossify the paint as much as you think it might, but what it does do a great job of is making sure that it doesn't fade. You can always expect it to do it at some point. So the fact that this Glossifier actually says, fade buster here, uh, that'll give you an idea of what its intention is. So uh, let's go ahead and get uh, this surface uh, cleaned off and taped. Again, this shouldn't take uh, more than uh, about 20 minutes per side, maybe if that. But uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys this in real time. Uh, I've already done the other side, so I won't bore you guys in showing you both sides, but um, I'll go ahead and show you this one, and um, hopefully uh, this will inspire when you guys do it. Now, if you guys look closely enough, you'll see that I actually have a tape line from the old amount of plastic that was actually on there. Uh, now, in your case, if you haven't done this already, you're not gonna have this tape line. But uh, ideally, you wanna follow the stock body line of the fender, of the flare here. You kinda of wanna curve it around down here. And I did that with, uh, with tape, um, some tape and maybe an X-Acto knife, you know, uh, whatever works best. Um, there is no real wrong way to do this. It's just how I decided to take care of it. So uh, I'm gonna use uh, blue pandas tape or whatever tape I can find, tape off uh, the areas that I don't want painted, and then we're gonna go ahead and spray that inner part there with the black plastic dip after we clean it though. to capture it on this side as well. So uh, last but not least, I like to do the center part since that's the easiest. I like to do the center part coming from this side to the other side over there uh, at the end because it's a lot easier to connect the lines, connect the dots uh, whenever both sides are already done. So uh, let's do that now. I got all that uh, taped down now. So now we just need to uh, tape and mask off the parts of the car that we don't want to get uh, plastic dip on, such as the uh, body panel here. Um, and then I tape off this section here, tape off that, and we can go ahead and hit it with the uh, black plastic dip, guys.
guys can see here, it's a bit of a mess. I got some overspray on this side. I should have taped some more over there. But you can see that uh, the tape line is pretty good. I got it to peel up uh, pretty seamlessly. And I'll use some uh, some of my favorite brake parts cleaner to kind of loosen up that plastic there and rub it off with a microfiber cloth. But uh, uh, that's it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, pretty simple. Nothing special about it. You just have to make sure that the plastic dip is wet while you try to peel the... Uh, uh, the tape off of it guys. Hope I inspired uh, one of you guys to try this, especially if you have a, a pure silver uh, Mini Cooper. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what other colors match decently well for you to try this, but um, uh, before you uh, go out and try to paint uh, your side skirts uh, to kind of match or mimic the John Cooper works ones uh, Go ahead and give this a shot guys. It worked out pretty good for me. Thank you guys for watching this video Thank you guys for watching the Beam Reader channel guys Make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that alert button if you want to be alerted for more videos Thank you guys for watching again and as always peace out and Godspeed guys <laughs>